Hey guys, what's up? Today we're at Rapstein and we're climbing Mr. Monkey. This was my third of the grade and it was definitely the hardest. I spent three sessions on it and in the beginning I couldn't figure out the beta at all and climbing the route felt pretty, pretty hopeless. The more I felt amazed by how easy it felt climbing it on the sand. All I can say is that making hard stuff feel easy is pretty damn satisfying. <laughs> What's this? <laughs> this is like a Ian's Alpine quick draw. Yeah. The first couple of meters are pretty easy and then when you get to the overhang, that's where the fun starts. It took me a while and my friend Ian's beta to figure this part out, but after that, man, I felt pretty solid. The key is matching a big hold from an undercut and then really digging into a little foot hold with your right foot to make a big move. Then you get a really good knee bar, clip the next draw, and then while staying on the arete, you get a big hole on the left side. Then you get a good rail, which is a great place to find rest, breathe and get ready for a couple of small holds which are featured in the upper crux. While I'm shaking out at the rest in the video, I just want to say that I really love the feeling when you've just climbed through a hard part, you got to rest and you're trying to calm down. It's like voluntarily coming from a drug high to a calm state. So rewarding. At this section, there's a lot of small holds a lot of options how to use them, so I'll let you figure this out on your own. On that day, my brother, my friend Ian and me sent the route back to back. I always love hanging out with people that are stoked about climbing, they try really hard, the atmosphere is awesome and getting on the scent train is usually just a bonus.
Whew. All right, guys, this is it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. Get out there, and I'll see you in the next one.